Hi all these students. Today we are going to study yet another function of a data link layer which is error control. In our previous video we saw framing which is a function provided by the data link layer. Today we are going to see error control provided by the data link layer. So error control deals with making sure that all the frames are delivered to the network layer at the destination and in proper order. So this is the task of the data link layer. It ensures that all the messages that have been sent by the sender have been properly received by the receiver and by the network layer of the receiver. So the network layer at the destination properly receives those messages and it does receive those messages and in proper order. By proper order, I mean that they are received in the same order in which they were sent. The uh, usual way to ensure reliable delivery is to provide the sender with some feedback. That means the sender sends a feedback whether it has received the message or not. This feedback basically involves the receiver to send back special control frames. So the receiver when it receives the messages it sends back some special control frames. It, it is sending the frames but these are the special control frames which have either a positive or a negative acknowledgement. So positive acknowledgement means the messages have been properly received and negative acknowledgement means that there has been some distortion in the messages though they have been received but not received properly. So the sender can easily get to know whether its frames were or whether its messages were properly received or not. If the sender receives a positive acknowledgement as I said about a frame, so, it know, so the receiver in that case knows that its frame has arrived safely at the sender's at the receiver's end. On the other hand, if a negative acknowledgement is received by the sender, this means that something has gone wrong with the frame at the receiver's end and hence in that case the frame must be transmitted again. Now just imagine the situation, you, what I am teaching you or what any of your teacher teaches you are the frames and whether you are understanding that or not is your feedback. So your feedback is basically an acknowledgement. When I teach you something, I am transmitting frames. When you give me a positive feedback, th that means a positive acknowledgement, which means you have properly understood whatever I taught you. And when you send a negative feedback, a negative acknowledgement, that means there was a problem in the data that you received or that means there was a problem in what I taught you, you were not able to understand it properly. So when you send me a negative feedback, I repeat that topic, that means data is transmitted again. So this is how it basically works. Additionally, hardware troubles may cause a frame to vanish completely. Now, one of the two, uh, now two possibilities that we discussed were, one was the frame was sent properly and safely received at the receiver's end and hence a positive acknowledgement was sent. The other possibility was that the frame or the message was not properly sent and a negative acknowledgement was received in which case the sender knew that it had to transmit the frame or message again. Now there is one more possibility. The third possibility is that there may be some problems or troubles in the hardware which may cause the frame to vanish completely. That means forget about a frame, forget about a frame being properly received or not properly received. The frame was not received at all in this case. That means the frame vanished completely because of the hardware problems, right? The examples could be that of a noise burst because of which the frame could never reach the receiver's end. So in this case, the receiver will not react at all. See, you will give me a positive or negative feedback only when I teach you or only when you can hear what I am teaching. But when you don't uh, hear anything, whatever I taught you, you could not hear only that thing. It all got muted, right? So in that case, you will not send me any feedback. 
no positive or negative feedback you will not react at all so this is what is happening in the third case because of hardware problems or hardware troubles like in case of a noise board or burst or some other uh, scenarios like this a frame may vanish completely and when the receiver has not received anything what will it react that means in this case the receiver will not to react at all because it has no reason to react it has not received anything so how can you expect any positive or negative acknowledgement from the receiver in that case this means in such cases acknowledgements will hang forever what does it mean there will be no acknowledgement sent and the receiver will keep on waiting for the acknowledgement because it does not know whether the data has completely vanished or it has been properly received or it has not been received properly it has no clue of whatever has happened at the receiver's end so basically it keeps on waiting for the acknowledgement hence we call it a hung acknowledgement right now this possibility is dealt with by introducing in timers into the data link layer right because if, the, if there is a positive acknowledgement the receiver knows data has been properly received if there is a negative acknowledgement the receiver knows that the data has not been properly received and it needs to be trans retransmitted but when there is no acknowledgement what would the receiver do in that case how does it know whether the data has been received or not received or if it is not properly received so for this to deal with this confusion timers are introduced into the data link layer so basically when the sender transmits a frame it starts the timer right the clock starts ticking the moment the sender sends a frame now obviously you will set the timer to expire after a particular time interval that say for example this much milliseconds the timer will expire so this time is usually this is the time which is usually enough for the frame to reach the destination and be processed there and then have the acknowledgement propagate back to the sender so the timer is usually set for a time interval which is enough for a frame to be received by the receiver be processed there and then the acknowledgement come back to the sender so if within this particular time interval the sender does not receive an acknowledgement and the timer expires so that means the sender now assumes that there was some problem with the frame being transmitted so the sender will retransmit that frame but normally what happens is that the frame will be correctly received and acknowledgement would propagate back to the sender before the timer runs out in which case the timer will be cancelled usually this is what happens but in cases where timer expires and yet no acknowledgement is received obviously the sender would retransmit the frame assuming that something wrong has happened so that's what i said that if either the frame or the acknowledgement is lost the timer will go off so again here there are two cases one is the frame got lost hence the sender never received it and hence it did not send the acknowledgement and another case can also be that the send receiver has received the frame and it transmitted the acknowledgement back but the acknowledgement now this time got lost so in that case also the timer will go off and then the sender will again retransmit the message so obviously as i said the sender will retransmit the message that means the obvious solution to any of this problem either getting the frame lost or the acknowledgement getting lost and then the timer expiring is that that the sender retransmits the frame however when frames may be transmitted multiple times and there is a danger that receiver will accept this receiver will accept the same frame two or more times and pass it to the network layer more than once now in a case where the frame is lost and the frame is retransmitted it is okay but as i said there is a possibility that the acknowledgement may get lost because the receiver has received the frame and it sent back the acknowledgement but this time the acknowledgement got lost but then even then the receiver the sender would assume that the frame was not transmitted that is why it didn't get the acknowledgement and hence it retransmitted the frame but the frame was actually earlier transmitted received properly so when the sender retransmits the frame 
in case where it does not get the acknowledgement back due to the acknowledgement getting lost what happens the receiver receives a duplicate frame and receiver transmits to the network layer whatever it receives so even if it is receiving a duplicate frame it will transmit it to the network layer hence resulting in the network layer receiving duplicate frames right to prevent this from happening it is necessary to assign sequence numbers to the outgoing frames that means each unique frame has a unique sequence number so that when the receiver receives a duplicate frame with this it knows that this is a duplicate frame because say for example if i transmit frame number 2 once and that frame has been received successfully and then the receiver transmits an acknowledgement for frame number 2 but the acknowledgement gets lost so what does the sender do after the timer expires it retransmits frame number 2 but now when the receiver receives frame number 2 again it knows that this is frame number 2 which has already been received so what will it do it will discard the duplicate frame so that is why we assign sequence numbers to the outgoing frames to avoid such situation wherein the receiver would get a duplicate frame and then transmit it to the network layer so any time when the receiver receives a duplicate frame it discards it how does it get to know it is a duplicate frame because it because uh, with the help of the sequence number because if two frames have the same sequence numbers that means they are duplicate frames so this way the receiver can distinguish the retransmissions from the originals and we can avoid this problem of sending duplicate frames to the network layer so this is all in error control